We have a few new buildings to construct today. We have the flower shop build unlocked so that we can eventually go for the dyer's hut. And we have the concrete mixer now so that we can start automating our concrete. I would also like to construct the fisher's hut so then we can unlock the research for the sifter's hut. And on top of all of that, I would also like to upgrade our crusher's hut here as well to at least level 3 so that we can go for some crushing researches. Researches such as the Gilded Hammer to reduce our Crusher's recipe costs by 50% and Knowledge of the Depth so that we can start crushing Deep Slate. And both of those researches combined basically it just means more cobblestone for the colony. And a bloody raid. Right chaps, let's make this quick because we've got a lot of things to do here today. And the new builder was just killed to one of the barbarians. Fantastic. And colony kind of successfully defended. Right, let's start off by having a little look at the florist build, uh, which is an awkward looking build. It is set over two levels and I think we only have the two cells for them. But because of the split level here, this will be a bit tricky to fit in. Unlike the concrete mixer hut, which is only a single level, single cell building block. So this will be nice and easy to fit in. In fact, I have the perfect space for it right here. And for the florist build, I think we will set it somewhere around here. There is a bit of space and this then pretty much takes care of the outer shell of this intersection. Yes, it will be right beside the composter actually. Okay, let's go ahead with that build then as well here. Looking at the construction tape, we will need to remove some of the sugarcane and other garbage I've set here, but that's absolutely fine. The Fisher's Hunt is next on the list, and this seems to be a two-level free cell block. Oh, water inside of it. Interesting. This is technically a agricultural build, which we will eventually set some other agricultural builds beside it, like the shepherd, cowhand, etc. And I think we will maybe set that somewhere over here, just as we eventually expand this area out to become the agricultural district. Yes, I think we will set this just about here. This will still give us plenty of space for another intersection just coming off from this if we need it. Ah, uh, yeah, let's not think too much about this. And this will be the third new building that we will construct here today. Well, maybe construct here today. We might need a third builder in. Which magical fae here will just simply do. So welcome in our newest builder. So Faye has picked up a guard's tower upgrade to maybe level 2 by the looks of it. It is a very simple upgrade so I will just let her get on with it. As for Cody, he is working on the Fletcher Sut upgrade to level 4 I believe. And is just requesting in some quartz pillars for it alongside some cacti items I seen. Which are both stonemason recipes. Emery is upgrading the warehouse to level 4 here as well, and this is a fairly chunky build for her to upgrade. She is requesting in a lot of different items here on the open request list, a lot of concrete actually. So I tell you what then Emery, let us actually assign you the concrete mixer set here, and we will come in and cancel the work order for the warehouse, for the moment at least until we get the concrete mixer up and then you can pick that back up. Whilst I'm about here, we may as well start the upgrade process to the crusher set. And I still have a few other wooden recipes to reteach to the sawmill unfortunately, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time here just doing that. Cody has just finished the level 4 upgrade to the Fletcher's Hut, which is nice, and I believe he has moved on to do the flower shop next. Which at first glance of the list here, doesn't seem to be a very difficult build for them to do. Bay is constructing a new guards tower that we've set up here, 
just to fill in a cell basically, but it is taking her a little bit of time to do here because this is a level 1 building attached to a level 3 building, so she's having to strip away the walls at this at the moment just to put holes in instead. So we'll get this up to level 2 the second that we can, and that should then plug up these holes that she's making here. Just unfortunate the way this building style goes, but she at least has all of the materials she requires to get the guard tower up here. Speaking of getting things up, there's a concrete mixer already up. Thank you very much, Emery. I am fully aware that we are creating all of these new buildings here and we don't have any workers to fulfill those jobs. So as nice as it is to get the buildings up here, we really also need some more housing up, or at least to upgrade the current housing. Man, I hate upgrading houses, they're always so boring, but such a necessary evil at the same time. We have the same problem again with Cody coming out here to construct the new level 1 flower shop. He is basically just stripping away all of the outer walls of the mine and town hall. We will get it back eventually here, but it, it is just such a waste of time overall really. At least with the likes of the fisher's hut, because we don't have anything here to remove. This building should go up a lot faster than the flower shop, certainly. Well, I spoke too soon by the looks of it. Uh, I completely forgot that the fisher's hut does attach to the field that we have. So, yep. We are clearly doomed just to do double the amount of work for such simple tasks here. Right, come on then, Faye, hurry up and finish this off so that you can go mess up something else around the colony. These field decorations are a bit annoying actually, because I will basically just need to reset the entire structure back in. There is no decoration controller for me to fix this. Great. Faye has finished off that guard upgrade and has moved on to a house upgrade to level 4 next, which I think that might be the first level 4 house that the colony will have. I could be wrong. So we will just keep an eye on the open request list and wait on anything that she's going to request in for it. As for the flower shop upgrade, all progress does seem to have halted at the moment here for some reason. What are you requesting in here then, Cody, that's holding you up? Some composted dirt. Because we don't have a composter, even though we have a composter build. Right, well, at least I have some compost. And that is now Cody 100% supplied for the flower shop. The same with Emery and the Fisher's Hut, but not so much for Faye, who is now requesting in a lot of warped and crimson and other nether related items. Which are to the sawmill and stonemason to be fair, so this really shouldn't take too long to teach. Or reteach in some situations. And we should have a nice supply of netherwood items within our bonsai trees now. Oh yes, we certainly do. And Cody is once again out here, making an absolute bloody mess. I think he's now going to be part of the flower shop build. And by the looks of it, the Fisher's build is equally doing just as well. Well, at least we've contained some water in this build, just not other parts. And that is unfortunate, Cody has just died to a mob. That's kind of what happens guys whenever you allow water to flow out and remove all of my carefully placed and torches here. The mobs do spawn in. Lesson learned. A hard lesson learned. Oh well actually, he was killed here within the flubber shop itself. Uh, probably sniped by a skeleton. This is, again, why these level 1 buildings are a bit dangerous and stupid, because they are so open, and nasties can get in. Right, well, let's just take up all of his belongings, and recruit in the next new idiot, 
Welcome in, Jacob. Uh, I've got some stuff for you here, actually. That is two builders in this episode alone, never mind Onyx in the previous episode. I'm really starting to think that guards are a bit bloody useless around here. We have two archers and one knight in the colony at the moment, so that is three potential guards that we could remove from their posts and put into some better functioning builds. They are doing a garbage job around the colony, so I am going to fire them all and we'll move them on. Once we get up some more housing, or upgrade some housing, we'll think about getting more guards in. Well, we now have a new planter within the plantation build, and a new fisherman build, as well as a new concrete mixer. We will now need a new idiot to become our fisher, and eventually our florist, but we will worry about that once we get some more housing up here. For now though, I do see that we have a few more requests here on the open request list. The black stone shingles to the stonemason, the glass bottles to the glass blower, and the redstone torches and soul campfires to the mechanic. Well, the soul campfire isn't to the mechanic, it's to the sawmill, but same principle, it'll be taught. So Faye is working on a level 3 or level 4 upgrade, a level 3 upgrade to this house here, and yep, I can already see where all of these new blocks are going into. We are 97% done with the upgrade and just awaiting in some of those new items that we just taught. As for Jacob and our flower shop, it is also pretty much nearly there. We are 100% supplied for it and three quarters of the way done with it. So this will be up anytime soon and then we will start upgrading this to level 2 and then level 3. Which at level 3, that's the only requirement we need to unlock the Dyer's Hut. And we will need to come and upgrade the new Fisher's Hut here as well to level 3, so that we can officially unlock the Sifter's Hut. Emery was the builder who was requesting in the Blackstone Shingles, and that is for the level 2 upgrade to our Crusher's Hut. We are also 100% supplied for this build, and very quickly making our way up there with it. So she will get this up to level 2 pretty quick here I reckon, and then we will upgrade it to level 3, so we can go for those crushing researches. In fact, there's the Crusher just been finished off there. Brilliant. So let's quickly come in then and see if we can upgrade it to level 3, or at least catch Emery to upgrade it to level 3 before she picks up something else. Still no worker inside of this build yet, but we will get there once we get some more housing up. Oh well, we just missed the window for her picking that up, but Emery has instead picked up the level 2 upgrade to the Fisher's Hut, which is just as good. And speaking of housing, that's Faye just finished the level 3 upgrade to the house across the way. And there's the flower shop just right behind it. Good stuff. Uh, hello, Valentine. But with that house being upgraded there, we have expanded out our population by a whole one. So before I go recruit a new idiot in, let's upgrade the flower shop to level 2, then head up to the tavern, where we have Mike, and Mike only wants 30 redstone dust to be recruited, so welcome in Mike. And I think we will get Mike becoming... A oh, we already have a crusher. Uh... Right, okay then, well I was going to get Mike to do that, but we have Sage apparently. So instead, Mike has become our new florist. And I'm absolutely alright with that. Well I think for the next little while, I will concentrate on getting some more housing up, and some more housing upgraded for the colony. Then next time we will just continue on with some more upgrades, and get even more idiots into the colony.